Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Evans and I'm the science leader for the forest informatics team here at Scion and today I'm going to be uh, going through the aims and benefits of the forecaster calculator plus give you a quick fly through demo of the calculator itself. Let's get started. Forecaster Calculator was a co-funded project between For For Forest Growers Research and Scion and it was started in 2016 and fully deployed in 2018. It was created for two purposes, a to provide a woodlot and small forest owners with an accessible calculator that can provide a rough estimate of volume and log product mix on a particular site at a particular age and B, to answer a problem around the current use of the Excel spreadsheets, the calculators, not knowing who was using them and what version they were using. Additionally, the manual distribution of the spreadsheets were cumbersome and there was a dependency on the operator having access to Excel. Therefore, using the web as a delivery platform was the best option to solve version control and accessibility to the calculators. Plus, we want to provide a tool that was simple to use and intuitive. Some of the key things you'll need on hand when running the calculator will be the location of your woodlot, the planting age and any silviculture events such as pruning, thinning or measurements completed. I will demo these areas of the tool later in this talk. You have the option to navigate to your woodlot via the map, which automatically updates with the site index and 300 index of Pinus radiata. If you have a Douglas fir woodlot, then you'll need to add that in manually. The expected outputs you will receive after each simulation run, and they are delivered as PDFs, are the log yield report, the crop condition report, and the silver culture details report. I will run through these a little more detail in the demo. There's a fourth output, which is the annual crop condition CSV file. The key benefits of the forecaster calculator are that it's online delivery, it's accessible anywhere, anytime. The calculator is hosted with Integral who provide the Atlas Forestry Solutions and they will provide you with any support you need. It is device independent as it is browser based and accessible via tablet, laptop and desktop. It is consistent with the expert version of forecaster the back end of this online tool is connected via a mirrored version of the expert version of Forecaster, which is hosted in the cloud. Therefore, the calculator is using the same data, models and surface layers located within the expert version of Forecaster. Forecaster Calculator is a simplified version of the expert version and a quick way to run a single simulation for your woodlot. It is a simple calculator and does not have the full range of the expert version of Forecaster, but this is the beauty of Forecaster Calculator, is that it is simple to use. The calculator also contains a range of smart defaults to get you started in the back, which reflect standard silver culture regimes for Pinus radiata and Douglas fir. Again, I will show these in the demo later on. And there are potential for add-ons in future versions. Additionally, the updates and version upgrades no longer need to be manually distributed. For example, when the expert forecaster version is updated with perhaps a new surface layer, then this will be directly transferred to the calculator in the back end. So let's take a look at the calculator for a quick fly through. Firstly, you'll need to visit the FGI website. Once there, Navigate across to the calculators button, then click. In the drop down menu, you will see Forecast Calculator. Select that. You are taken to a calculator link page, which holds the Forecast Calculator link and some further information. Before we move into getting started on a simulation, I just want to notify you all that if you are a first time user, you will need to register. Simply fill in the field, noting that the asterisk fields are compulsory. Once you've finished the registration process, an email will be sent to you to complete the, the process with you. Then you can complete to log in. Now, if you have forgotten your password at any time when you're returning later on for another session, 
and you forget your password, simply select the forget, forget password button or link and enter in your email address. And once you've submitted that by selecting the button here, an email will be sent through to you with further instructions on resetting your password. Let's go and log in. Okay, you'll notice that uh, your email address will be put up in the top bar here. A couple of things to note before we move into actually running a simulation. Uh, the About Us page. This About Us page has a lot more information around the site selection, model selection. This accordion structure will open up if you select it. For example, the cutting strategies. So currently in the cutting strategy we have at the moment within forecast uh, calculator is the domestic cutting strategy. Uh, just, to, just a note for you all that we are looking at incorporating export um, cutting strategy into the tool, but for now it's just focused on the domestic um, cutting strategy. And I'll talk more about that when we go to simulate. Uh, the other thing I want to raise with you here as well is that if you get stuck at any point, uh, you're more than welcome to reach out to Integral. They, as I've said in previous slides, they provide the support uh, and the help desk for any, um, any of your requirements in that space. So if you get stuck, please uh, email them. Uh, and if they get stuck, they will reach out to myself or to another at Scion to, to help with um, any queries that you may have. Okay, let's, uh, let's get started. So we go back to home and we just get started. Now what you'll see here is you'll see a map. Uh, it is a big map and at the moment it's in the road view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the aerial view because I quite like that view more than on the road. Uh, I like to see some of the greenery. Uh, and, and you can actually go to your woodlot. So if you're actually living nearby your woodlot, you can actually toggle there um, uh, using this radio button. So you can go to your current location by selecting that. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay here. Here we go. And then um, you can also zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in here um, to my current. I'm just going to try to realign that a bit. Um, there and uh, you can actually zoom out as well uh, and um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take us to a different um, location to find the woodlot that I'm wanting to use for this demonstration which is this this location here which is the Puda Key Forest which is a Scion experimental forest and if you've been um, attending the conference you may or may not have heard yet from Loretta Garrett she's going to be presenting the Puda Key Forest uh, in another talk anyway I'm going to use this this forest here uh, for the demo today on the other side here, if you do know your latitude, longitude uh, and other information, uh, you're more than welcome to populate that in these fields here. I just want to also uh, make note that the 500 index, if you are wanting to run a simulation for the Douglas fir uh, regime, you'll need to have that that number or you'll need to know the 500 index for your area. Uh, that's a manual process uh, and, and there's, there's reasons for that and you can find that in the About Us page. Uh, I won't talk about that in the essence of time. Uh, so yeah, for this one I'm going to drop a pink pin onto uh, the Purukei uh, of that, that woodlot. Um, it may be over here or, and you'll notice that when I move this pink pin, these this information here uh, changes and updates as well. So the next thing is, is just if I want to simulate a regime, we've got these input values here. Uh, look, these are the conditions. This is the event. Uh, so um, I've already been in here. Now that's the other thing I just want to note that your last session under your login will remain in place. Uh, so you don't have to keep recreating it. Uh, if you did plant your woodlot in 1996, um, then it'll keep it there. But if I want to just change the regime to, say for it's a Douglas fir, then I will go into these defaults. Remember I mentioned there's a set of defaults. So it, it actually comes up with an initial default. So um, I'm going to select, I could select Douglas fir, which is, this is the initial default settings already put in place for you, um, which you can modify. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the Pinus radiata because uh, this is 
in Pinus radiata. So I'm going to keep it there. And this is what I'm showing you here is that this is the actual default. Um, I'm going to change this back to um, 1996 because I just want to change it to 1996. Uh, and, and please, um, uh, Narita and Co, if you're watching this, um, I am just making this up. I, I'm not going to follow the regime, unfortunately, at this stage. But what I, I am going to do, just for the essence of this demo, is just make some updated changes. Um, I'm going to look at changing. There's a prune event. So the first one I change is plant event, and then there's a, a prune event. I'm going to change it to um, 500, uh, 500 stems pruned. I'm going to, and there's a thinning event, so you can add those. So I'll just show you how you can do that. You can add an event just by these, there's a, a plus or a cross, so you can add an event. Um, so you just select the condition and whether it's an age or maybe it was a date, a particular date, a bit like the planting date. Uh, and you can do, you can do that and you can put that in years. You can change that. You can add a thinning event, a measurement event. Um, and the measurement event, event is around the, the stockings, the basal area, and mean top height, uh, if those are the measurements that you took at that time. Um, but for the essence of this, I'm not going to add that in. I'm just going to, and you can delete delete events as well. So you can customize it to, to those particular events. Um, and then I'm just going to simulate that. So just recap, so you can add on the conditions, so it's whether it's a date, an age, a, a DOS, or it's a, um, a, in a particular event, so planting, pruning, or thinning. Um, and there's also, I just want to point out here before we simulate, I might change the age of the clear fowl, so there's a clear fowl age. Um, and I also want to point out that in the clear fowl uh, field, you can look at the cutting strategy and, and if you know the prices, see it's a domestic cutting strategy, if you know the current prices, you can update those, so price uh, per cube. So you can actually um, update those prices uh, in accordance to the current pricing, um, which will help to bring that um, accuracy a little bit more on your um, reports. Keeping in mind that this is just for quick quick idea or estimate uh, and again if once you've got that and you want to seek further advice I'd, I'd highly recommend that you seek a consultant um, consulting firm to further do that analysis this is just a quick calculation okay so I'm going to I've put all of my um, updated my my uh, events and conditions I've got my location I'm going to simulate that now uh, it's just going to tune away um, working through the, the various um, models in the back and it's going to bring up uh, these four reports as I described in the earlier slides. So the log yield report which is a downloadable PDF. Um, I have been in discussions we may look at making these as, in a different format for you uh, in terms of not just a, a PDF. So this here log yield report again looks at your total recoverable volume cutting waste and the st total standing volume. So, um, so there's that report. Uh, there's also the annual crop condition, which goes through and it, it marks the, the events. So all the events that have happened and the impacts on your crop as it's grown through time. So, you know, you'll see there's a planting event and then there was a thinning event. So this, again, um, if you need to know more information about these, these um, outputs, go and seek consulting advice. Okay. And then we've got the last two reports. So just your silver culture details again. Um, you know, just talking about these your pruning events and the dates, uh, the times that they happened um, and, and, and so on. Uh, and the last one is the annual crop condition, which is, is more detail around um, what has been happening and those measurement events and things like that. So, okay, so that is uh, this a simulation. Uh, again, if you need any support or any help um, on if there's some errors or anything that pops up, please contact Integral um, and uh, and again seek consulting advice.
So the take home points uh, for today are that it is accessible anytime, anywhere. It is device independent. It is consistent with uh, the, the expert version of Forecaster and the latest available version. There's potential for add-on features in, in future versions. Uh, we've, we've tried to keep it as simple as we can to ensure that it is easy to pick up and use. It is for small woodlot owners um, and small you know, forest owners, and we encourage those, those owners to log in, have a play, uh, and, and again, seek that consulting advice um, if you are near that time to harvest. Um, and we welcome any feedback you may have on the calculator itself. We are in the process of updating the calculator functionality to, to include um, additional features. Please submit your feedback to Integral um, and the details are found on the contact us page of the calculator site. Um, and you're also more than welcome to send your feedback uh, via uh, my details here. Uh, yeah, so um, that, that sort of concludes uh, the, um, the presentation. Uh, thank you for listening and thank you for inviting me to, to speak today and uh, I look forward to um, hearing from you all uh, in terms of your feedback going forward. So thank you once again. Bye-bye.